Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be painting a diamond night sky galaxy with batteries. So let's do it. For materials, I'm using a size 10 round brush by Princeton. This is Velvet Touch. I have my Ash watercolor paper taped down with masking tape on all four sides and also on the top and the bottom to prevent it from buckling. I have my watercolor set here and the colors that we are going to be using today are a mix of bright rose and permanent rose. Thalo blue, mixing them together to get a purple or violet color and uh, I have indigo and pines grey. I am using a hake brush to apply a thin layer of water for the wet on wet technique. In case you don't have a hake brush, you can use a bigger size round or flat brush. I also have a jar of fresh water and some paper towels. After applying a thin coat of water to the paper, I am taking a mix of bright rose and opera rose and start painting the sky. I am mixing bright rose with thalo blue to get a violet or purple color and applying a light wash onto the paper. I am using Thalo Blue by Mijillo Mission Gold. In case you don't have Thalo Blue, you can mix Cobalt Blue with Indigo to get a vibrant and dark blue color. Now I am adding a little bit of Indigo and Pines Grey to paint the darker sky. All the materials that I am using in today's painting are also mentioned in the description box down below. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, because the watercolors tend to dry out a lot lighter than they look right now, to achieve the vibrancy, I am adding another layer of paint and I am also going to gently blend the colors together to get a smoother transition. A close up view to show you how I am blending the colors together, I am taking a little bit of pigment and gently dabbing it onto the paper and because the paper is still wet, the colors naturally blend together.
I'd love to know if you have any feedback or suggestions for future videos so please share them in the comment section down below. Also feel free to ask me any questions that you might have related to this painting or watercolors in general. I'll be more than happy to help you out. To add some highlights, now I'm taking a damp brush and lifting some of the paint and wiping the excess onto a paper towel. Now I'm adding more pigment around the highlighted areas to add depth to the painting. To speed up the drying process, I'm using a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer instead or let it air dry completely before moving on to the next step. To add some stars, I'm using Winsor & Newton white gouache and I've also switched to a smaller size brush. I'm gently tapping the brush using another one to splatter the stars on the paper. Adding some bigger stars here to create some variety in the painting. I've switched to a smaller size brush and adding horizontal and vertical lines to create shining stars. Once it's dry, moving on to painting some bare trees, I'm starting here with a lighter value of pine's grey. I'm using a smaller size round brush, this one is a size 4. You can also use a size 2 round brush. So essentially what I'm doing is drawing vertical lines that are pointing towards the center of the sky and uh, I'm also varying the values of the pines grey that we are using to show some depth and uh, add some layers to the trees.
using a liner brush to add smaller branches and trunks of the trees. If you're not confident, you can practice them a couple of times on a rough piece of paper before adding them directly to the painting. But just remember, we are not painting realistic trees here, just trying to make them look natural. I'm adding some finer details using the liner brush again. I'm just highlighting these four shining stars that I've painted before. And once it's dry, we can remove the masking tape. The painting is now ready. If you have watched my previous tutorials, you know that I like to add gold outline to most of my paintings and I'm using fine tech gold here. This is how it looks once it's done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you'll be notified for all my future videos. I post two tutorials every week. I also have a video on sunset inspired galaxy and a monochrome galaxy painting. Make sure that you check them out too. You can follow me on Instagram for more updates. See you next time. Happy painting. Bye.